Hey guys, you're watching this one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. This episode's going to be a little bit different as I don't really have a name for it yet. I'm going to have to name it for when I upload it. But what I want to do is just work on the back of the Floral Pavilion. Otherwise known as sort of a, a marina in our city, but the original building was the Floral Pavilion. We took a break last episode and built a normal suburban house, but I want to come back here and finish this off. I've, it's been on my mind, and I don't, I don't know exactly what I want to do with it, so we're sort of going to be winging it this episode and sort of build it as we go. But a little bit of a plan that I've got is obviously extend the path that we've got here to the edge of the building. Okay, so all those slabs go to there. I then want the slabs to come forward a little bit to the edge of this building and wrap around quite thin, maybe four blocks, three or four blocks, maybe five blocks around the edge of here. Pretty much where the shadow is. See where the shadow is? Imagine the shadow with those slabs going around. And then onto the slab, onto the stone slabs, I want to have wooden slabs. And the wooden slabs are going to act as a dock almost uh, as like a marina dock with some little miniature sort of pier dock things that come out where well, eventually i don't know if we'll be able to get around to it this episode but we'll build some sailboats i might be able to nick the sailboat from the private island just a sort of a test boat and stick that in there some speed boats sort of lined up in there that would be really nice and pretty pretty much extend it out to the road here i might leave a little like five or so block um barrier between the road uh, and then take this wall of the water away and move this back to the docks it's going to be a little bit more square the water's going to be a little bit more square more refined than this sort of um natural eroded almost style wall that we've got going around here which i've never really liked i, I knew i wanted to do something with it but at the time i didn't really know what so we sort of kept it like this so let's get cracking then let's 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 get cracking here let's start off with the slabs, we'll do it in the order that I said. It seemed like a pretty uh, a normal uh, order to do something in. So we'll just go from here to there. Set 44, 6. And grab those ones from here to there. Ah, did I want that end one? Yeah, I could... No, I'm, I'm going to remove those back because I think what we'll probably do is we'll straighten up this uh, as well. So this will go straight along here. Do you know what I mean? Like bang, 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 all the way through. And then the shadow's got smaller now that we've turned the shader packs off. So how, how wide do we want to have this? One, two, three, four, five. five. Five's good. Five seems to be about right because the water is down a block or two yeah this should work out really well there oops uh there to there and an extra two blocks here so we can see wherever there's grass it's actually going to be the new wall now so these will be removed all like this and we'll put all that in there uh in a minute if i replace air i won't have to go around everything with it replace air with 446 yeah there we go one two three four five to here one two three four mm, that one to that one and then this one one two three four whoops one two three four five to there don't know what i'm going to do about the edge here do we just wrap it around the side of the building here we've got a pillar in the way do we make it go straight and make this into a little car park that sounds like a better idea if we go do it from here to there make that into a, a, a small little car park we can fit i don't know about 12 cars or 15 cars in there that should be pretty nice and then from here is a little bit more hard work already i love the path it makes the back of the building look a lot more neater but we need the wooden part now and i want the wooden part to be a little bit lower than the stone so we get a little bit closer to the water it's only going to be half a block down but that should be just the perfect amount to get it nice and close what order do we do this in i think what we've got to do is remove the ground first and sort the water out get the water out to it and then go from there this might not go well i don't know <laughs> i really do not know let's just do that and see if we break my game set air 
so far so good. I'm glad I've got a powerful computer. Uh, we'll get rid of the old wall here as well. From there to there. That one to that one. So the water will go all the way around there. Need to sort a little bit of the corner here as well. And I will terraform a little bit of the bottom here so it's not like a completely flat. Um, <laughs> uh, but I'll mind you, I suppose it would be relatively flat below there because it's got to be deep enough to get the, uh, the boats in, doesn't it? So I suppose if it's man-made, it could be nice and flat down there. But I, I might, might roughen it up a little bit just with a, a brush or something like that. Okay, and then we want to come out with this one as well. So we got to here. It's always scary doing large terraforming. It is always a little bit scary. What episode are we on anyway? 147. Three episodes away from the next world tour. Get excited. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that there because the end of the bridge is there. And I don't know how I would tie it in. If it was water there, it would look a little bit weird. So we'll probably just make all of this, uh, that path block down here. Uh, this could stay ish it might like if we had this just run down here I know it's not perfect but for, for the moment it'll do I can I can finish it up later uh, all the way down here I know it's floating but don't worry calm down and then Put those in there. Wrap this around the side. Yeah, this will work. And then the slab. A little bit of an odd episode. We're not really sort of building anything in particular. Uh, we're just sort of filling some space. Filling some space. There's nothing that could go back here. We couldn't put, fit a building back here. Uh, we didn't have any I uh, really ideas for what we wanted to go here. So I thought, let's just take an episode. Oops. Let's just take an episode's break and f from building specific things. And just see if we can work on something a little bit. See if we can just make something great uh, and fill up the space here. It's been bugging me for since we built the pavilion. Since I started the pavilion, I was always wondering exactly how we were going to do this back section. Let's take this away. And this one away. Like that. Put this grass back in, but take this grass away. Most of the water should sort of sort itself out around here. And then put these in. I could world edit this. Can I? 437. Let's try it. Set 437. I don't know. It will. I didn't know if it would because it was a modded block, but uh, apparently it still works. That's handy to know. And put these in here. Ooh, rain. Got quite lucky with this seed. My seeds are usually very rainy seeds. This seed, for some reason, just hardly ever rains. It's very rare that it does uh, rain at all here. Okay, the wall might continue along a little bit, depending on how we're going to do the wooden section. But that, this should help out an awful lot. If I put in... Uh, I'll use a lily pad. I was seeing how deep the water was there. I'll just grab a lily pad so I can go there and underneath the lily pad. Then that way I can select that block, which is right on the corner, isn't it? Yeah, there, all the way over to here. Replace air with water. Good. I like it when things go well. And from here to there, replace air with water. There's a little bit that we're going to have to fix down there. Some underwater parts. That block can now go away. I've got this mound here that I need to get rid of. And let's just put a line of blocks underneath here to fix this. So that just gets rid of that running water there. There's not really any other way you can do it. You can't world edit that away, I don't think. Um, it's like just a little bug that water has sometimes, isn't it? Maybe even caused by the world edit. Why can I hear running? Oh, I can hear that running water. That's why. So everything's all solid apart from this one. Oh, there are, there are some little bits. Okay. 
So run this. There. Are we on the right one? Yep. There. Along here. And a fair way this way. I got a fly on my pop filter. That was a little bit too close to my mouth. <laughs> Made me feel a little uncomfortable. How much more? Any more surface problems? Doesn't look like it. Okay, not a problem. Let me just terraform up underneath the ground here. I don't think that you guys want to see that. Um, just sort of flatten this out a little bit and, and make it so the boats can get through easy. And I should be back. All right, I've got the uh, shaders on here so I can see really easily under the water. I've changed all the stone that was obviously underneath the ground to dirt. And I really like how it's flat at the marina area. Oh, I missed some under here. I really like how... Oh, yeah, because of this. Uh... I think I can just set to water, right? Well, let's do that. And then that set water. Oh, replace air with water. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I really like how it's flat at the marina part and then drops down deeper when it goes into the river straight into the ocean. I think that looks really, really nice. A few little stone parts on the side here. That's why you turn the shaders on so you can see them real easy. Like that. Marvellous. Look at that water. I love this water. That's why one of the main reasons why I picked this shader pack is that the reflection and the little shimmer on it. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's get the wooden part in now. We can turn the shaders back off while we're building. Uh, planks, uh, not planks, uh, slabs. Oak or spruce? Oak. I think oaks are more natural looking wood. How deep do we want this one to be? I think probably three or four. Four looks about right. Uh, and I can't do... I don't know the ID for tops, half, half slabs. I know there is. If I'd set this to half slabs, like how we would do normally with World Edit, it would place them on the bottom half of the block. It would place them down here instead of up here where we need them. There is a block ID, and people have told me it many, many times in the comment section before. I need to write it down in a little post-it note, like in front of me, because I need to do it so often, and I always forget. Uh, but yeah, it's... Isn't it like one, two, six or something like that? Let me just try it. Replace, oops, air with 126, four or something. No, that's bottom half. Slab. Yeah, that was that one. Uh, for some reason, I, I, that number was in my mind as a slab for some reason. Isn't that weird? I knew that number was a slab for some reason. All right, anyway, not going to take too long. We can start to see on the map here as well how uh, it's looking. I like how square it is around this marina part. I think it's a really good decision. And what we want to do off these wooden parts is have little, like, sections that poke out further uh, to be able to park up the boats in. Sailboats. I want sailboats in. I want a couple of speedboats in. And it'd be really cool. I've never built one. Oops. I've never built one in Minecraft. So I don't know how it's going to go. But I want to try and build a long boat. Now, I don't think these are that well known or popular, like, overseas. Um, here in the UK, you don't see too many of them. But if you ever go down a river, or walk down a river's edge, you'll usually see one uh, parked up the side there. You might have to Google it because it's really hard to describe. It's a, it's a boat that's really thin. And really and relatively long uh, houseboats some people call them houseboats uh, maybe that'll like jog your memory with it uh, there was a like, kids program when I was younger I can't remember what the name of that was though that used to have one and basically it's basically like uh, like a really long rectangle and you can walk over the top of it and you can sort of stand on the top of the houseboat uh, when you're sailing along or not sailing when you're moving along because uh, it's engined uh, but then when you want you can just park up on the side of the riverbank and you can go inside and inside It's got a kitchen and bedrooms and lounge and stuff like that, but they're relatively small Okay, I really like this. I really like this already 
for the boat width, how how wide do we want the boats to be, or, or or how much do we want room do we want to give for them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's just give it eleven blocks of room, and then we'll make a four block wide to match the four blocks that go around the outside here. Pier dock. Ah. No, that should be plenty enough. That should be plenty enough for a boat. I can't see us putting a boat in here that's going to be wider than that. Uh, and then for distance wise, probably a little bit further. We're not going to fit. Be, we're not going to be able to fit too many of these in. Maybe even only another one out there, but it should do the job. Let's come out a little bit further, like three more blocks. That should be good. That should be good. Let's see if I if I copy and paste this, how small the gap is going to be between. If I stand here, I stand on the left-hand side. I copy it. I rotate it by 90 degrees because it rotates clockwise. And then if we go over here somewhere, I just want to make sure that we're not going to like make it so thin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wasn't it 11 that we left? Yeah, that's what I was worried about, having a really thin area. Was it 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 it was. Good memory. Okay, it's not terrible, but it is a little bit thin to be able to get through. So I think what we're going to do for that is just remove... Let's try removing two at first. Two off that one. And two off that one. More it makes more sense, more room now to be able to get through just that those couple of little blocks there. I really like that. I've got a feeling that that isn't the exact same numbers. Uh, it shouldn't be. I can't see why it would. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Really, one block out. Um, that's complete accident. Because there's no reason why that should have been anywhere near that close. Uh, but if I move this over by one, it'll make it look a lot neater. Cut. Paste. Now there should now be ten blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, perfect. So now it looks, it's perfectly square in the middle here. We can get one boat in there, a small boat there, a small boat there. Like a jet ski, like a jet ski here and here. A speed boat, a uh, sail boat, a long boat, and a sail boat there. I think that would be a, a nice sort of pattern. Looks really nice, really cool on the map. Now what we want to do is just grind it up with some other woods. So let's grab some um, oak. And some spruce. And what's that? Spruce smooth wood. Never even heard of it. Um, and we might do some fencing. Down, I'm not going to do fencing all the way down though. Just like on some of it. Might. I'm not, still not sure. I haven't quite decided yet. So let's have these going down to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, there and there. Oh, wrong one. Shoot. Down here. Ah, oh, I hate it. Water can be so annoying to work with. There and there. Oh, that's out as well. How am I doing this so wrong? What one do I want it on? Do I want it on the corner corner? Or do we want it... Yeah, yeah, hang on. Let's do it on the corner corner, but then... So that one and that one, get rid of that horrible mess. And then if we then wrap that there and there, that could make a really cool little design on the edge to sort of join them up. Yeah, no, I like it. I didn't at first, I'll admit, I thought, ooh, at first, but I, I'm, I'm liking it more now. So we'll do the same thing here. That one and that one. It's nice that the water isn't too deep here, so I don't have to sink down too far. 
that one and that one yes yes okay and then we might do a little bit of fencing like there that have i got another fence i might use the gray just so it stands out the oak fencing didn't really stand out at all or do anything for me but that yeah that looks a little bit better okay uh, i want the same thing over there you know what i'm gonna do one and then i'll copy and paste it again that'll be the easiest way buttons Trap doors. That one. There. Button. Button. And then trap doors down here. Just dresses it up a little bit and gives a little bit more shape to it. Like it, it bulges it out a little bit. Doesn't make it look uh, quite as flat down the side. Uh, would I want another one on the corner here? If I did, I might have to move the one that we just done there and there that one that one that one and that one one two three four five blocks one two three four five six seven if i move that over by one it would be like perfect cut Ooh, i'm getting sucked in paste oops and there so now we have one two three four five six one two three four five six smashing absolutely perfect such an accident but happy accident that one to that one cut get sucked in again paste and the trap doors will have to go back on as well won't they there button trap door Fix the hole. And button. Trap door. Ooh, trap door going uh, with the ring at the bottom. Yeah. Swap that one around. All right. I'm going to do that all the way around and I should be back. All right. So I put all the pillars in. So the dock is now nice and sturdy. It's all connected to the riverbed. So it shouldn't move when the waves sort of come in. If the tide's in or out from the ocean. Because we are pretty close to the ocean. So it's going to severely affect it. It shouldn't really move all that much. And uh, yeah. Now I want to do some little details around here. So I want to get anvils right. And the reason why I want to use anvils. Is to basically like tie the boats to something. So the boats don't float away when they leave them. The only problem that we've got. Is that this is on the bottom half of a half slab. Meaning. Oh no it's not. It's not. We can put the anvil straight on. <gasps> yes, I thought we were going to have to put a little slab there or something to fix it. But we shouldn't need to. So that can go there and there. That one, that one, that one, that one. So this is going to do two jobs. One, it's going to bring a little bit uh, of uh, an extra shade, an extra color to the dock. Uh, secondly, it's going to make a lot of noise and annoy everybody watching it. Uh, but it's also gonna fill up a little bit of space these stocks are usually very empty when you see them in minecraft they're just wood and they don't have anything else this is gonna add a little bit of detail that you don't see quite as often there and there look all that look how much that added look how much that added that looks absolutely great now i don't need to do crates and chests and lobster pots and stuff like that because it's not like a work it's not like a a commercial dock like you know a fishing dock as such where the big haulage boats come in it's a private marina dock do you know what i mean where, where these small sailboats and stuff are located i don't think that there's really much more at least that i can think of to be able to put on these i'm very happy on how this looks now really really happy it's just a matter of getting some boats in now to fill up that final bit of space. So let's go and grab some. Let's go over to... Do I have one at the private island? Island, yeah. Let's jump over to the island. And we shall grab this little sail. Oh yeah, we've got the actual speed boats. We can just stick those in. Excellent. I like when I remember something that I've forgotten about. It's a really nice feeling. Let's go down here. Make sure we get the entire boat. Pause one. And then we'll go up here and make sure we get all of the top of the boat and the corner and everything. Pause two. Uh, let's, how are we going to do this? If I stand on here, copy, 
Let's jump back over. Where's the closest thing to where I was? Cargo port. I don't have a... Where am I? What way am I going? This way. <laughs> Figure out which direction I'm facing. I, I don't have a warp point everywhere. I, I've sort of accidentally forgot to do them recently. Um, I think the most recent one i done was the stadium when we started building that. Uh, but yeah, I keep forgetting to, to place them down. Oh, train make noise. So... The boat we copied was facing this way. So if we just try, if we just paste it here and just see what happens first. Let's just go paste. We'll see if it's at the right height. It looks to be at the right height. ka -chow. There we go. We've got a sailboat in there. That's nice and easy. I really like this sailboat too. I really like the uh, the, the sails on it, how they sort of have that, that 3D effect. Like the wind is actually sort of blowing them a little bit. Oh, we lost the uh, life ring, though. Item frame. And is it a slime ball? Yeah, it is. Yeah, slime ball. We retextured to look like a uh, lifeguard ring. Oh, we lost some stuff on the inside, too. Yeah, this is inside. We've got a little furnace. Uh, I think that actually is a furnace, too, isn't it? There we go. That's better. A chest. I don't know why... Oh, maybe I, I must have rotated it at some point and didn't fix those. So, yeah, we've got a little furnace and grill. We've got a little chest for storage. Bed, little bookshelf, candle. It's a lovely little room, isn't it? I think you can sleep in the bed, but when you wake up, you'll wake up on top of the bed. But, yeah, what a lovely little thing. Little engine goes into the water there. Little flag on the back. Little plant on the front. Wonderful. Let's get a... What boats do we have, in fact? Oh, we've got the Zodiac boat as well. Oh, that's the normal Minecraft boat. I don't want that. I have no idea what this is. I have absolutely no idea what that is. And... A hovercraft? Will the hovercraft float? I don't know. I don't know what it looks like or anything. And then MC Heli will have some boats as well. Somewhere. Seaplanes, we could put a seaplane down here. There it is. That boat, uh, I have no idea how big this is, but let's just put it down and find out. That This could go, I think that is going to go horribly wrong. We'll put that one down at the end. We'll put that one down at the end. All right, so, Zodiac boat. You know, I don't think I've ever seen this either. Can I... What on earth is that in my hand? It's a rail. I, I'm i scared of clicking that. Does it move? Ah, here we go. I can hear the engine going. Okay, you probably can move, but I'm doing something wrong. But I'm pretty sure you can move. Hovercraft. Oh, I put the hovercraft. Oh, they do float. They just had to sort of come up. Oh, they're an animal. I've just broken the game. I'll be back. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, hold on. Sword. It's a really good sword, this. Die, hovercraft. Die. Okay, the hovercrafts don't work on the water, then. No problem. There is... I don't know what they were. Let's get this one in. This one can go in next to here. This one does work. We've driven. Oops, we've driven this round uh, a fair few times. <laughs> okay, um, and then let's try this one. It says B1 water vehicle boat type one rotary engine. Oh, I see. I can see the boat, but then it has rails coming out of it. And is it F3 and T? Oh, I don't know what I've done now. AJ, stop breaking the game and just end off the episode. We're already going to be really long. I think I've just re-initialized the texture packs. Oh, no. Apparently that wasn't it. I don't know what i done there. It just froze the game. All right. I shall have to figure out how to remove this. Unless maybe pause one. Oops. Pause one. P 
pos to set air. No, that didn't work. Undo. She's sinking. Alright, she's going to stay there. And then this one I think is a massive huge boat. So I'm going to do it over here. Just in case. Oh, no, it's not a big huge boat. But it does have some guns on it. Maybe I shouldn't have that there. Oh, it did break really easy. Let's, let's go and try it over here. Let's put it in this one. Oh, wrong way. It's good. It's not a huge one. I'm pretty sure I do have a big, huge boat, though. Oh, I like the um, the grey one, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so cool. All right. As soon as we get rid of that, I think that's pretty good. We're going to leave the episode there, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.